We made it, the red planet, Mars, really is a vast, red, dusty planet and I'm going to take you on an adventure to come and explore this incredible place. Let's go. Formed 4.5 billion years ago when gravity pulled swirling amounts of dust, rocks and gas together to create the red planet. Named by the ancient Romans after their god of war Mars for its reddish brown colour, Mars was also first viewed 1,000 years later through a telescope by Galileo. 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 Mars is the fourth planet in our solar system from the sun and the second smallest planet in our solar system. Its diameter, that's the distance through the planet is 6,779 kilometers, which is almost half of Earth. Because the gravity here is a lot less than Earth, it means I can jump almost three times as high. Ta da! And it also makes lifting things a lot easier. Oopsie! As you can see, Mars is a terrestrial planet. This means it's a rocky planet that I can walk on, unlike Neptune or Saturn, which are gassy planets. Like, where is my glove? <laughs> In many ways, it's beautiful, but don't let it fool you. The landscape is dry, barren, and dangerous. Crust is mainly made out of iron, which reacts with the small amount of oxygen in the atmosphere to form something called iron oxide, better known as rust, which is why this entire planet looks a reddish, brownish color. We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. Let's get a better view up here. Ironically, this rusty planet does seem to have gone past its expiry date. Empty river valleys and lake beds can be seen all around the planet with no water in them. It doesn't rain here anymore and without rain there are no plants. Nickel, iron and sulfur can all be found inside Mars core. This means that billions of years ago, Mars once did have a protective magnetic shield that shielded it from harmful solar winds protecting its atmosphere. Unfortunately, years later, Mars core has cooled down, which means it no longer has this protective magnetic shield. And so most of its atmosphere has been blown away by solar winds from the sun. The atmosphere is 100 times thinner than Earth, which means I can't breathe without my spacesuit. It also means that Mars is a lot colder. The atmosphere is like a blanket that keeps the planet warm, and without it, things get very, very cold. The average temperature here is minus 60 degrees Celsius or minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but it can get as low as minus 125 degrees Celsius or minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit. You think that's bad, then try getting to sleep and there's a Martian dust storm outside of your base camp. Wait a minute. Oh no. There's a dust storm coming. Quick, we have to go. Let's go, quick. Dust storms are a killer. 60 mile per hour winds and dust particles blowing 100 kilometers up into the Mars atmosphere. They can last from anywhere, from two weeks to two months. <sighs> Quick, get down here. 
and they reduce visibility to virtually nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's past. <coughs> Dust storms are deadly. The biggest volcano in the solar system can actually be found here on planet Mars. Olympus Mons, standing three times the size of Mount Everest, is by far the biggest volcano or mountain in the solar system and was one of many active volcanoes on planet Mars. But millions of years later, these volcanoes have since become dormant or extinct. Despite being a barren dead planet, there may be a future with Mars, but that sounds like a lesson for another video. Comes the end of our video about planet Mars. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check out some of the other videos on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Now there's only one thing left to do.